Bonjour et bienvenue, c'est la modélise et je suis contente that you are back here in my channel. For today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to create goatee inserts for our skirts. Goatee pattern making is one of the most complex pattern making techniques for skirts and I am here to guide you step by step. So let's get this tutorial started. To begin on the middle part of your pattern paper, draw in a horizontal guideline. Place the basic torso block right exactly on the guideline at the hip line. Make it sure that the blocks are both facing the side seam. And trace the basic torso block from the hip line until the waistline. And do not trace the second darts, we will distribute them on the side seams and on the front dart. Label the front and back skirts to avoid confusion. Next, from the center front line and the center back line, extend these lines downward. And do the same procedure for the side seam. From the waistline, mark down your desired length for the skirt. For me, I have used 17 inches or 43 centimeters. And square a line for the hemline. From the side seam on the front waist, mark in 1 centimeter or 3 eighths of an inch to distribute the second front dart. And from this mark, redraw the side seam until the hip line. And distribute equally the remaining 1 cm or 3 eighths of an inch on the front waist start. And redraw the front waist start like so. Next, from the side seam on the back waist, mark in 1 cm or 3 eighths of an inch to distribute the second back dart. And from this mark, redraw the side seam until the hip line. And get the measurement from the hip line until the hemline and record this measurement for the length of the goudet. For example, my measurement is 8.3 inches or 21 centimeters. For the goudet template, prepare a cardboard paper and draw in a vertical center line. From this line, mark out the width of the goudet. On the first half, mark out 1.5 inches or 3.8 centimeters and mark out the same measurement on the last half and that is 3 inches in total. And from these marks, square in lines. Next, square in a top line. And from the top line, mark down the good day length. For example, the length of my goudet is 7.7 .7 inches or 20 centimeters. And square a line like so, completing the frame for the goudet template. From the top line on each angle, square in 45 degree diagonal lines. And on each line, mark in 1.5 centimeters or 5 eighths of an inch. From the top line on each line at the side, mark down 3.5 cm or 1.3 inches. And lastly, from the top line on each line at the side, mark in 3 cm or 1.1 inches. Next, connect these marks by drawing an arc shape for the tip of the goudet. And cut out the template from your paper. And label this pattern Goudet Template.
Next, get your back and front skirt pattern and your go day template. First, trace the half of the go day template on the center back line of the skirt. And also trace the half of the go day template on the center front line of the skirt like so. And trace the full go day template on the side seam like so. Next, get the halfway between each go day placements and mark the halfway in. And place the Godet template right exactly on the mark and trace. Next, get the halfway between each Godet placements and mark the halfway in. And place the Godet template right exactly on the mark and trace. And do not forget to mark in the center line of the Godet for sewing references. Next, put your desired sewing allowance on each arc and your back and front skirt pattern. And cut out your patterns from your paper. For each arc, I have used 1.3 cm or 4 eighths of an inch of sewing allowance. And also on the side seams, and the center back seam and the center front will be cut on fold on a new piece of pattern paper trees and the godet template including the center line next get the one fourth measurement of the godet And mark in the one fourth measurement on each side from the center line. And square in a line like so. And now we have three slash lines for the godet. Next, cut out your godet pattern from your paper. And slash through each line but do not cut beyond. Next, get a sufficient amount of pattern paper for spreading technique and draw a vertical line on the center part of your paper. From this line, mark out 1.5 inches or 3.8 centimeters on each side and tape the first or middle slash line right exactly on the marks. And for the next slash lines, mark out 3 inches or 7.6 centimeters and tape the pattern right exactly on the marks. Next, draw a curve line for the hemline of the godet. And put your desired sewing allowance for the godet pattern. And cut out the godet pattern from your paper. For the godet pattern, I have used 4 eighths of an inch or 1.3 centimeters of sewing allowance. Correction guys, the godet pattern shouldn't be cut times 10 on your fabric. It should only be cut times 8 on your fabric. I miscounted and I am only human and I make mistakes. So I'm sorry for that. And do not forget to notch the center line of the godet pattern. We will use this notch for sewing. For this tutorial, I have used this wool plaid fabric and I have placed my front skirt pattern on the fold parallel with the back skirt pattern. And cut my patterns like so. And first, sew your back and front waist starts. Next, face both back and front skirts together from right side to right side. And sew the side seams according to your sewing allowance.
Next, prepare your godet inserts and mark in the center notch. And as you can see, I've already inserted the godets and I have left one empty godet placement for sewing demonstration. To sew the godet insert, make it sure to mark the center notch on the godet insert itself. And mark the center notch where we are going to place the godet. Also, make few snips on the curved parts of the arc to ease the tension and to avoid puckering. Next, face the skirt pattern and the godet insert together from right side to right side. And match the center notches and pin in place. And sew the godet insert to the skirt according to your sewing allowance. Next, push all of the sewing allowance on one side and give it a press for a clean finish. Et voila! So this is my godet skirt mock-up on different angles. Anyway guys, I hope this tutorial gave you enough tips on how to pattern trap and how to sew the godet skirt. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to comment down below and I will reply as soon as possible. And if you like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. And if you super like this video, please give me a super thanks. And if you're not subscribed yet to my channel, La Modeliste, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys again on the next tutorial. A bientôt!